when you start out, you're going to be at this screen right here, and you're going to you're not going to select IQ Designer. You're going to select Embroidery. Okay. Now on the Altair and Meridian, to make we're going to make the angel first. We're going to design it. We're not going to stitch anything out until the entire quilt block is designed. So the the body of the angel is under here, scroll styles, and it's this one right here, number six. Okay. Then we'll click on set. Now, I didn't have to resize this because it just set out perfectly. Another thing you want to do before you do, before you really get fully started and into this, you want to touch your settings button up here and select the nine and a half by nine and a half inch frame. Okay? And then hit OK once you do that. Then, so there's the body of our angel. So now I want to add to the angel. So I'm going to select the add button and we're going to create her wings next. Now I'm going to tell you, I went through every embroidery design built into this machine to come up with the closest thing to angel wings that I could. And I think it turned out rather nice. I'm not patting myself on the back or anything, but I really do love this design. It'd make a beautiful pillow also. I mean, there's so many things you could do with it. I think in the future, we're going to have a class and use that design and make a cover for our, for our sewing machines with that design on it. Anyway, so we already got our angel body up. The wings are actually under home accents right there. And it's this flower design number five. So tap on that. And then we're going to hit set. Now you see how large that is, right? So we're going to have to re we're going to have to really manipulate this design here to get it down to the proper size. But it's really, really easy to do. So next we're going to select edit and size, and then we are going we are going to turn on the stitch density regulator. That's what I call it. I know there's another name for it, but you know what? That's what I'm calling it right now. And we're going to reduce it as small as it will go. So we're going to touch this button right here with the four arrows pointing, pointing into the center. And I'm going to hold it in until it stops. See how easy that was? And then we're going to drag it over here. Now, <clears throat> I need to rotate it because this little little curly cue that sticks out at the top of it, right here, that's going to go into the narrow waistline on the angel. So we're going to click on OK, and we're going to click on Rotate, and then 90 degrees. And then we're just going to move it over. So it just doesn't quite touch. Now, to get it just right, and that's pretty close, you can zoom in, zoom it all the way in, and you get a much better feel and a much better look for how that looks. Okay. So you just want it to barely bear don't want it to touch, but be extremely close. Oops. Let's use this and just jag it over a couple of whacks. So I just want to see a little bit of space in between. And I, I know that'll be good right there. So we're going to click on OK. <clears throat> and we're going to copy it. We're going to make a, a duplicate now that we have it sized. We're going to touch this right here one time. And we're going to drag it over to the other side. Oops, that's okay. Hit the back button. Undo, I messed up there. There we go. Now we're going to drag it over here just to get it out of the way. And then we're going to go back. We're going to use this icon right here. That's flip. We're going to flip it so that now 
it's the mirror image of the other the other angel wing and then we're just going to drag it over as well and that looks really good to me right there now with all that being said when we stitch this out it's going to stitch out with without stopping moving from the body to the wing to the wing it'll do it all in one fell swoop but in order to do that we need to group it this is your grouping icon right here touch that and then touch this one right here and it will highlight all three designs then we're going to hit OK and then to finalize the grouping that just selects everything that's a multi-selection tool now that they're all selected, we're going to group it with this icon right here. And now it became one design. But, it, but it's got more than one color in it, right? So we're just going to fix that right now. We're going to click on this little button here. We're in the Embroidery Edit screen, just so you know. Embroidery Edit. Touch that. And now you can make these any color you want, but what I did the first one, and I have Floriani selected as my thread color. That's just what I did. I didn't use Floriani thread, but that's what I had it set to. For the Floriani thread color, I click down one, two, three, four, and I selected this color right here, which is a cream yellow. Now I'm going to select one of the wings, and I'm going to change it as well and the next one and change it as well. Now I'm going to hit OK. They're all the same thread color. Now when we go to stitch that out, it'll all stitch out in one continuous stitch out. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Now we have another step to do before we do anything else. Do you see this little icon right here? This is the outline icon. We're going to touch it And what this does, we're going to send this outline to IQ so we can start programming in our quilting stitches. But what we're going to do here, you see how it has some of the outlines on the inside of the design? Well, we don't want that. We just want a single outline all the way around the outside of this entire design. So what we're going to do, we're going to play with this and touch it one one tap at a time until all the interior black lines dis excuse me disappear and we have a single outline so there's one two and see how it's disappearing three it's getting there four there's still some right there I mean I want it I want it to be good there still some more let's do it again there's still a little, couple little dots right there. Let's do it one more time. And there it is. All the interior parts are gone now. So we're going to select memory. This is going to save it to memory. And then we can pull up this outline in IQ Designer. So I'm going to hit memory. And it says, it shows you where to recall it from. Recall from IQ Designer stamp pattern list. The icon in IQ Designer looks like this and we'll click on OK. Now that's all set. We have our outline saved into IQ. So now we're going to add to this. We're not going to go hit home and go to IQ because then we'll lose this. We don't want to do that. We're going to select Add and then we're going to select IQ Designer. And now we're going to hit the, pamps, the, the Pattern and Stamp menu. And before we touch, bring our outline in, we're going to touch this little hoop icon up here. And we're going to select that 9.5 by 9.5 again. This will set the perimeter for the finished size of our quilt block. 
it's highlighted, then click on OK, and now you're going to see an outline in IQ before we add anything to it. So, now we're going to go back to the Pattern Stamp menu, and here's the outline icon. You can see some of the other stuff that I've done in plain. And we're going to select this one. The one in the upper left corner is the newest one. There it is. Hit on OK. Now you can see the outline of our angel in our screen. This, this is all going to be added to the embroidery sc edit screen that we came over here from. So we have that. Next, what I'm going to do the next thing we're going to add is the outline for this, this design right here that I did the candle wicking on. This right here. Okay. So, we're going to go back to that stamp and pattern menu. You'll find working with IQ, you'll be going here a lot. Okay. It's a wonderful place to be. <laughs> it's a wonderful place in the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to go to pattern group number two. And the one that I use is this one right here. Look at all those other shapes in there. Aren't they yummy? So we're going to go here and OK. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, you can see that it's really close. So we're going to enlarge that. And we do that by selecting size. And then we're just going to blow it up. And you see the numbers up here? When one of the numbers gets, gets to 8, I'm going to stop. The number 8. And it'll be, I can tell you it'll be the bottom number. I'm doing it this way so I don't greatly overrun my target. We're almost there. There we go. 8.6. That's close enough. If you want to get it right on number 8, it doesn't matter. That's up to you. But I think my last one was like 8.08. .08, so that little point zero something is inconsequential. So there it is. And if you're happy with how that outline is going to look around it, and remember, right out here is where the edge of the block is going to be edge of the hoop. So I like that. I'm going to select OK. I will select the candle wicking later, not right now. Now the next thing to do, and here is the fun, here is another super duper fun part. Now we get to select our quilting designs because we have two areas to add to. We have outside of the inner border and the inside of the inner border. So I'm going to start on the inside and do that one first. So I'm going to go to the Regions Property menu right here, these four buttons. Now, whichever machine you're on, if you're on the Destiny, it'll look a little bit different than this, but you have the same icon, same way with the Solaris. So I'm going to select on the Regions Properties page menu, that's the settings. And I don't care what color it is because that's all going to get changed later. So I'm going to select this third icon here, the quilt patterns, and bring up the menu on the Altair Meridian. There are 15 choices for this one. For the inner border, I use this, the cross hatching, number six. So I selected that, click on OK, click on OK. Now I'm going to touch the area in between my angel outline and this inner border. First I'm going to turn on the fill bucket, very important. And now we have our cross hatching. Easy peasy, right? Trust me, when I first designed this, it took about four hours to get it just like I wanted it. But anyway, <laughs> now we're going to add our quilting design to the outer area, outside of the inner area. So we're going to select the Regions Property Setting icon again, and we're going to select, select a different pattern, 
and I selected number one. Now if you're going to design your own variation of this, you can select any pattern you want to. That's up to you. It won't hurt my feelings a bit. If you get creative, I encourage you to do so. But I'm going to select OK. My fill bucket is selected. And now I am going to touch right out there. And there that is. So, since this is embroidered, there will be no quilting inside of it, okay? Because what I did, I have the, the all three lay. I have a quilt sandwich in the hoop. So this is actually quilting and embroidering at the same time. So, that's everything I want right there. Now I'm going to select the next button. So, <clears throat> under over here, underneath select, you see those arrows? So right here it shows the pattern that we are going to do settings to. These three settings here. Size of the pattern, angle, and whether the out, outer outline is off or on. I left it at default for, the, for this project because I plan this to be something to hang on the wall, so if it's a little stiff, it's not going to matter. And you want the outline on all the time through this project. So you have nothing to change here. Okay? So we're going to go up here to the select button, and we're just going to go down the list of our different areas. Next is the cross hatching. Once again, I left it at 100 outline box on. You'll see why that's important shortly. Now we have another area to go to. Oh, there's where I, I program, this is where we program in the candle wicking. Right now, zigzag is selected, so I want to change that. I want to change that to candle wicking. So I'm going to touch it right here, and then I'm going to select icon number four under line properties, the candle wicking, and select OK. That's got everything I want. Those are the three areas in IQ for this block. So now I can select Preview and click on OK. And there's a more real world view of it. That's what will actually stitch out from IQ is this right here. So now we're going to select Set and OK. Now. Look how perfectly our embroidery design, our embroidery angel will fit inside of that. Pretty awesome. So now we're going to select a few more different, we have some thread colors to change. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select, just click on the one I want to change, the vermilion, this red. I actually want that to be like an off-white, so I'm just going to select one. It doesn't matter which one and that turned it to like a white thread, an off-white thread. Now the black candle wicking, I want that the same color as my angel. So I'm going to go down four screens, one, two, three, four, and it's this cream yellow right here, and there it is. Now I'm going to select OK, and guess what folks, it's done. It's ready to stitch out. So what you can do, if you're actually going to design it, hit the memory button right here and save it to your machine or to a thumb drive. And that way you have it, you have it programmed into your machine. Now to stitch it out, all we'll do is hit embroidery and it's ready to go. You can see right over here, there are five different areas You'll only have to change your thread color once. And you're probably, I know one of you will ask, well, why didn't you just group it so that all the cream was together? Because this candle wicking has to be the very last thing to stitch down because it covers up some outlines and it pulls it all together. Just trust me on that. You only have, have one color change in there and there's just two colors of thread. And that's all there is to it.